Nyola Badmos TV Entertainment. With Tell me how best to open the year for movies, if not to see a great movie. Nollywood is back in 2023 and it's definitely with a bang. We are at the private screening of the movie to freedom. It's our fifth anniversary. Okay, I, I can't imagine having an anniversary without Shola. I am going to the supermarket to get some groceries. My battery is very low. Hello, Shola. The rain, the network. They are just in zoom sheet. Follow like this. Then she can't go like this. And now no concern again. She came this evening and left. My wife is missing. She take it easy. It's just that after one year, it's looking like this woman is gone. You need to move. You want to wear. Just like every man, you probably mourn for a year and we marry shortly after. Living as if you're dying every day too. That is no way to live. There was a withdrawal on our account earlier today. Where is my wife? Who be called home? Cousin the sea. Where is my wife? I don't trust them to deal with this kind of situation well. How dare you play your stupid mind games on me? Continue checking. Toby, check everywhere. You don't need money now. Well, I know that there's a thin line between love and obsession. She's alive. I saw her with my own eyes. She's dead. So you need to behave yourself and recognize that she's dead. Movie and it bangs. It hits home. It is good, and we're here to catch the reaction of everyone who's come out for this private screening. In case you're wondering, what is to freedom? This movie is a type of movie I call it a shake. It a shake because it definitely was twisting our head here, here, here. But finally, we got to a good point, and it blew our mind. It is a psychological thriller, a path that Nollywood, you know, has not been treading. You know. You you know they've not really been trying this kind of story and I'm glad that we finally have people who decided to give it a chance and they did good with it. This movie has stellar cast, amazing people, some of my favorite from Osas Igodaro to Etim Efiong Daniel to SODK, Jide Kosoko, Beverly Osu and a host of others directed by Auntie Biodo Steven and I know that you can't wait to see what's happening here and the reaction of everyone who's come to see this movie. My name is Moyo Sarah Olua and trust me 2022 2023 is here and I'm so excited where is my wife to be called home because of the sea where is my wife I don't trust them to deal with this kind of situation well how dare you play your stupid mind games on me continue checking Toby check everywhere you don't need money now well I know that there's a thin line between love and obsession she's alive I saw her with my own eyes she's dead so you need to behave yourself and recognize that she's dead <laughs> SODK is definitely a star. Believe me when I say he is a star. I have not gotten over your character any Jakumo. And here you are again giving me buzz, 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 buzz. Kilo Dinale, you. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Thank I you. am well. I know you're gentle, quiet, but I mean, you just saw your work in the cinema. How do you feel? Show me some excitement. I'm very excited, but I mean, as most people know, I'm usually very calm because I don't even know what to do with myself mostly, but I enjoyed it. And it's sometimes for actors, it's awkward watching yourself. But I mean, I fed off the crowd and I enjoyed it and the performance as well, yeah. I know it must have really been a journey, you know. I, I heard that the writing was on for about two years. I mean, production is here, it's in the cinema. What's your favorite part of this process? Um, my favorite part of the process in terms of when I came on board to play Kewe in the film To Freedom is getting to mix and mingle with my scene partners, you know, uh, Osasi Godaro, Daniel Letimefiong, both fantastic actors and it's just being in their presence and basking and exchanging ideas and just rubbing off rubbing minds and just you know trying to bring the characters from script to screen so that's my best process it's it's a thing I love it I know you said you're proud of this work but I want to confirm again are you proud yes I am yes I very am. proud you know you never know how so, how good you know a script a script can you can read a script and the script is really really good and you never know how it will turn out 
so this turned out really good i mean when we shot it it was i don't even think it was meant to be that good but you know when you have Bjorn stevens directing and it's just it turned out beautiful for me right so tell people 13 they must not fall our hand so tell them why we should come out and master go see this movie uh, hey guys, my name is Esso DK. I'm an actor and on the 13th of February 2023, the movie To Freedom comes out. I play Kewa in that movie. There's Daniel Etimef Young, there's Osasi Godaro, there's Beverly Osu. There's a whole ton of stars in there. And you shouldn't miss this movie because it is a beautiful piece. It is a beautiful piece and will keep you on your seats and you love it. So come out and master to see it and hope to see you guys soon. So I call her to be the director of directors. I mean, she always gets me. And Antibi, 2023, you have started again. It is hot. How are you, Mama? Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Well. Same to you. Same to you. And you're the one launching films for us this year. How do you feel? Uh, pressure. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. <laughs> And yeah. again, it's you. We've seen it. It's good. And that's why you can see everyone smiling right now. Yes. What, how do you feel about the reaction you got at the end of this movie? Um, I'm, I'm really happy. Really happy because I think that this is, the, this is the only repayment as a director when you see people enjoy your film, give you a resounding applause. This is, this is the reward to know that all of those nights, all of those days when we walked under the sun, under the rain, it was worth it. And I'm just glad that, you know, the reception was great. I know that as a director you have foresight, but to be honest, when you saw this story, I mean, I know the writer and I know she can be crazy, she's wild like that, but when you saw the story, did you even think that people would be able to relate? Oh, totally. I, it was not so, it was a domestic violence story, which has been done before, however, treated in a different way. And that for me was my first intrigue, um, how it was told, it was, it was psychological drama, and I really, really enjoyed reading it and I was so excited to make it. And then when I also saw the cast ensemble, we go do this one. We go do them. Now, seeing the outcome, working with the cast, all of it, I know you said earlier on that it was worth it, but I want you to look into the camera and tell me for real that it was worth it. To freedom, it is worth it. Watch your time, watch your money. Go see 13th of January. You will not go regret them. Thank you so much, Auntie B. Thank you, so Thank you Mama. Thank, Thank you. you. So, 
to freedom definitely has a lot of people talking already because we are at the private screening and trust me there is a lot to talk about and i'm with the right hand group of this movie representing always tiger virus and if you tell me about consistency she's one person i will point out to you any <laughs> how long so long and now you're here in the cinemas how are you i'm fine how are you I'm okay. I know you've been doing this for a while. I mean, I said consistency. That's to tell you how far Anya has been in this game. And now she's the writer of a cinema movie, guys. How exciting is that for you? I'm very excited. I'm trying to contain myself because if I show how really excited I am, I'm not sure the world can absorb it. So let me just maintain. Maintain. But again, it's okay to be proud. Show that eyes because, I mean, this is great. I know you two have wild imagination. And you decided to write a story that not everyone would want to talk about. This is a psychological thriller, if I were to put it that way. Why did you decide to go on this journey? So... Like you said, I have a wild imagination. So one day I was on Okada and it was about to rain. And then I saw people passing in jeeps. And I'm just like, what if that person in that car is looking for his wife? <laughs> so random. And I'm just like, hmm, why, why are they looking for the wife? And I'm just like, you know, and then all of a sudden, and then I just kept on thinking about like, okay, so why is he looking for the wife? What happened? Oh, are they in love? Is he passionate? Is he? And then next thing I know, I have a full story. I'm just like, hmm, nice one. Let's do this. <laughs> and yes, you did it. And I'm sure it must have been thrilling. So I've also co-produced it, you know. And yes, we had we have um, the director to be Auntie Bjorden Steven, and you know she always does a great work. And yes, the cast definitely mind-blowing and you can tell that these guys are people who would always kill it working with them what was it like it was beautiful like i don't know if i could have Im it was like they brought everything in my mind to life it was it was a beautiful experience to have because it's like you didn't have to talk too much it's like they felt it i don't i don't know how to explain it it was just see i don't think i said that it's god because <laughs> i don't know how to explain it. they got everything like every emotion you know a lot of writers come out and they're like oh this is not what i imagine this is not what i imagine i'm happy with what i have the cast brought it together i'm always so thankful to them because you know i can write it and interpretation can go but then everything was just like pam 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 and i'm i'm glad i'm really I know. I have seen a bit of it and trust me, I'm even beating myself up for being out here right now while the movie is still going on. That's how much I love what I'm saying already. <laughs> but again, it's coming to the cinemas on the 13th and that's the beautiful thing about why we're here today because we're seeing it firsthand to bring you everything happening right here. So finally, any before I let you go. Who is your favorite character? I know writers always have someone they are attached to. So who is it for you on this movie? Who is my favorite character? I think my favorite character will actually be Toby. I <laughs> My favorite character is Toby because he's a he's a character. <laughs> That's all I can say without giving away too much. He's a character. If you're wondering what Toby is, Toby is a team F young and yes, it did a beautiful job interpreting his role and you need to go say it. Okay, 13th of January and he is out here. I'm sure they'll be going around cinemas to usher you in and welcome you to freedom <laughs> because that's exactly why we're here after all we're talking to the next next guest in a little bit make sure you stay here where is my wife to be calm down you're causing the scene where is my wife i don't trust them to deal with this kind of situation well how dare you play your stupid mind games on me continue checking toby check everywhere you just need money now when i know that there's a thin line between love and obsession she's alive i saw her with my own eyes she's dead so you need to behave yourself and recognize that she's dead now I'm glad to have MC Jess out here to see the movie to freedom. How are you doing today? I'm amazing. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I am. Happy New Year. To you, I like this. They greet everybody to like February, you know, when we come out. They just say Happy New Year. But again, this is a good way to start the year. What do you think? Yeah, it's true. It's an amazing movie altogether. I mean, Nobody could have predicted, you know, the way it was going. We didn't see that coming. We just saw a cool and a great guy. And then, uh, uh oh boy. And this is what actually happens in a lot of homes. You know, everything looks good, but you don't see the back end. Because we don't post our sad stories online. So that's what's up. They don't exist. Right? My, my sister, there's a lot going on. So tell me, what's your favorite thing about this story? 
Well, I, f I feel like uh, it'll be um, the costume because I'm, I'm very big on costume. So I really love, you know, everybody was detailed in what they were wearing. And also at the end of the day, I could see, um, I mean, the decoy, what you were not expecting. And then it turned out to be that. That's a lot of work. So exactly. tell people why they should go see it on the 13th. Well, I feel like this is a, uh, a Netflix standard, cinema standard. is amazing, well shot. The casting was amazing. The acting, great. I've never seen Beverly that serious in life. <laughs> She'll kill me for this, but that's the truth. Amazing movie. You just want to see this movie with your friends. I mean, it's awesome. This is not the kind of one that we're saying support ourselves. No, this is a great movie. So go watch it. That's Thank you so much. So much, darling. Right. There is no way I would see Michael and I would not drag him for, you know, a chit chat. Michael, Happy New Year. How are you? Happy New Year. How are you? You didn't tell me Happy Birthday. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Don't be angry. I missed it. I'm sorry. Send me money. I will. I will freaking you. I can't. <laughs> Michael, it's a new year and we're already starting on a good note. Yeah. What do you think about this movie? I know you've seen it. No, it's... It, it gives you the experience. You know, when I saw the trailer, I'll be very honest, I wondered why it didn't go straight to VOD, you know, but then, because, you know, some movies don't have a cinematic experience doesn't mean it's not good, yeah? But this gave me a cinematic experience. Like, at one point, I was sat next to the director and I said to her, please just tell me where this thing is going. I beg. Because my body was just doing me. I didn't know where it was going, you know? And it just hit home and things changed. So... If, because if I say it now, it's body feel. But there's a part where the, where everything just changed. When you watch it, you understand what I'm talking about. It will sweep your body. It will do your guess guessing your body. Michael, it's a new year. I know you're out here to root for some of your favorite people. But tell me, what's in it for you this year? What should we be expecting? We'll be expecting... I've, I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes. Michael, edge your behind the scenes but in front of the scenes. But also, I have like a lot of work coming out this year that I'm very proud of. Yeah. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed to see all of that. So now tell them, the movie is Sweet Us, but they need to go see it so they can sweet them as well. Why should they go see it? People, if you like a good time, mm, and you know you Nigerians, you like moral of the story. Moral of the story, they dear. Good time, they go out and watch it, please. Yeah. Thank you so much, Michael. I five to the new year. Thank you. Thank you. Please, um, I didn't produce this alone. Um, I had a full village. Unfortunately, that village is the village. So these are the guys that we have. Um, the Amiable director, Piotr Stevens. Did you guys like what Etty was wearing all through? Yes. yes. You liked it, yeah? Yes. 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 You're my idea. I knew that. I love you. Even know you. Yes. Even know you. Tell someone to tell someone 13th of January Woo! to freedom, please. Thank you. Yeah. And God bless you. Yeah. Where is my wife? 
Who they call me? Who? Cousin is safe. Where is my wife? I don't trust them to deal with this kind of situation well. How dare you play your stupid mind games on me? Continue checking. Toby, check everywhere. You don't need money now. You and I know that there's a thin line between love and obsession. She's alive. I saw her with my own eyes. She's dead! So you need to behave yourself and recognize that she's dead! <laughs> wonderful people my name is Eniola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world guys do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and Enola Padmos TV Entertainment without bad.